Hi guys, really quickly before we get into this video on Ocean Song Seraphine, I'd like to give a quick word from this video's sponsor, U.GG. The U.GG that you know and love is now a desktop app for League that provides all sorts of useful information in the game without actually having to alt-tab out of the game itself. You guys ask me a lot how I get my jungle timers to show on the minimap, and that's actually one of the many really cool features that U.GG has, and I want to talk to you about some of the other really cool things that I like as well right now. Uh, one of the things is its scouting feature in-game that lets me see who on my team can be counted on and who might need a little extra carrying, as well as the ability to import runes straight from the app into the game itself. So you don't have to worry about locking in a champion that you don't know how to play and picking random runes. It'll give you the best runes for that champion automatically. I also really like its in-game overlay that contains a full stat breakdown for my allies and my enemies, detailing things like their win rate and custom tags that show their playstyle or items they like to build. With the live stat tracking of your performance in-game and a head-to-head -head detailed matchup breakdown, you can see just what you need to do each game in order to rank up. And U.TG also has a really robust post-game analysis of your most recent game, which lets you make comparisons between you and the laner whose butt you kicked, or either maybe just got kicked by. And that of course also shows you the LP you gained or lost to track your progress all throughout the season. Huge thank you to U.GG for sponsoring this video, and if you're interested in downloading the app to rank up your gameplay, make sure you check it out in the description or in the pinned comment below. Hope you enjoy this video. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be trying out the new Prestige Ocean Song Seraphine skin. And oh my god, guys, Seraphine's getting a Prestige skin. This is amazing and beautiful. This skin is going to cost you 125 Mythic Essence, so please uh, save your Mythic Essence. And if you don't plan on getting Talon Prestige and it's, you know, you're currently playing through the High Noon event, get the Mythic Essence, you can get this skin. It is. Oh my god, she looks fancy. Her splash art isn't out yet, but it actually is different than her normal Ocean Song splash art, and I'm really excited for when that gets revealed. Um, but yeah, this is how she looks, and she looks so cool. So, oh my god. Compared to the base version, she has a completely different outfit, different hair color, and a different hair piece, it seems like, and actually a different hairstyle as well. So, very different than the base version, and her stage is just very a fancy stage, fancier version. And let's go check out the recall with my honor five. Okay, it's the same recalls before, but now you have golden bubbles. And you know what this skin low-key reminds me of, guys? It reminds me of if I was playing Prestige Lux on a stage. <laughs> That's what this kind of looks like. Prestige Battle Academia Lux on a stage. So we're playing into a Yona this game and wish us luck. I feel very sparkly and fancy. Oh, okay, the auto attacks are kind of cool. They have a really cool, like, trailing effect on them that the base one doesn't have. Let's shoot a Q at this guy. Oh my god, guys, it's dolphins. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. This Q is literally dolphins. All right. What? What? Okay, that's cool. I You could say whatever you want about this skin after that, but that's cool. The... the Q looks huge. Like, normally she throws, like, butterflies or jellyfish or something. But in this one, she throws a dolphin that, like, just does, like, a majestic path up. That's amazing. Riot, what is this? Oh, wow. And it so it pops into, like, a little prestige little burst. And... Okay, the best part about this skin is for sure the Q. And, oh, it looks like my notes are starfish, where in the base version, they're like conch shells, so your notes also change as well how they look. Throwing some more dolphins at Yone. Actually thinking about killing Yone soon. The E wave, it looks just like a prestige wave. Let me see if I can get Yone here. Die. Do I die too, though? No, I'm good. Okay, that was kind of scary, but we live in the end. Alright, so let's go... Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and recall here, because the wave's actually pushing towards me. Me tryharding in a PB, imagine. But really, though, that's, that's the best play here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get our tier, our this, and our this. And let's go check out some of the spells here. So that's how my E looks. That Q unmatched. And let's go check out my W as well. So just like a golden shield, and I'll check out the heal soon too. So one of the things that I like the most about the non-prestige version is that the stage actually fills up with water when you get to max stacks. So I want to see how the stage changes when I have max stacks on this skin as well. 
So in this one, it just looks like it lights up. So Loki, I actually like that version of the non-prestige better. I think the stage on the non-prestige is kind of cooler. The, the stage on this one is like, it's not bad, but... So let's see if we get him here. Oh, he should just be dead here. It's not bad by any means, but I do really appreciate the effects on the non-prestige, making it fill with water when it is at max stacks. But I mean, I'm pretty sure these dolphins make up for that. Like, I- that is- this is like the Seraphine skin I think I will only use from now on because- because of those dolphins. Oh, here's Belveth. How dare you, Belveth. Oh, she's so low. So close, so close. If only had a little bit more damage. Go Shamu, attack! And the sound effects in this skin are the same as the non-prestige variant, which is still very nice. Okay, wait, we can probably do something here. Goodbye, Belva. Oh no, she dash. Goodbye, Yone. Belva, please stop this. <gasps> Death animation early this game. Oh my god, that damage reduction though. I forget, Belveth gets literally 70% damage reduction with that ability. So this game, uh, in my non-prestige version, I went to Leandri's build, but in this game, I'm going to be going a Ludin's build. A little bit more damage. So I will say, in this version, she definitely looks smaller. Her hair is not as big as it is in pretty much all of her other skins. Her hair is a lot... Uh, Feels not as big. I mean, the piece on her hair is huge, but the hair itself isn't as big as the non-prestige version, which uh, is up to preference whether you like it or not. It's just different. The non-prestige one definitely looks like bigger, her model. Throw in my dolphins. Yone, stop. Yone, stop. Yone, stop this with your fedora. You fedora wielding swordsman. Oh, we gotta go help Velvet's there. Okay, this will probably be good for us. Okay, I'm level 6 now. I'm gonna look to maybe kill him here. Okay. Oh no. Okay, well, we saw the ult there, but... Okay, Yone, fine. You got me. You got me, sir. But don't worry. Death is still on its way. Because I got you too. Go, my dolphins! Attack! Is he dead to the ignite? Not quite, but he said to this. Bye bye. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And this is also going to, like I said, it's going to cost uh, 125 Mythic Essence. And if you buy it with 125 Mythic Essence, you will be getting a icon and a border as well for this skin. So that's kind of cool. Let's go get a turret plate, and then let's just go ahead and take our leave. There's a Belveth in our lane. Actually, let's see if we can bait her. How dare you, Belveth. Don't try me. Oh, Akali, though. Akali, though. Alright, Akali. A little much, but fine. Alright, so we're going to be going Ludens as our mythic item this game. And I'm going to sell this just for uh, for some boots. Yeah, we're selling us your boots. Who needs sustain? We need to run faster. We need to run faster on this stage. Okay. I want to pay attention next time I ult more. And actually, I'm noticing too, there's like sparkles that kind of fly off of you in this skin, which I think most prestige skins have. So it's a cool little effect.
I will say it's a little off-putting too, throwing like this. It's like you're throwing pee at them. This is like peeing Seraphine because it's like, I mean, you're throwing these like yellow effects, but it looks like in making the sound of water. Like prestigious water. A little strange. I'll say while I like it, when I think about it a little bit more, it's a little concerning why this water is yellow, but you know, that's not for me to for me to question. Oh, here's Belveth. Ooh, close. I was going to ult her in a second, but I was waiting for her to, to, to get a little bit of a better angle there. Okay, I'm going to look for an ult here again, but let's see what's going on here, though. Okay, let's get him. Go! Dolphin, attack! Oh, Belveth. You must die. Oh, she must have flashed. <gasps> There's no way. Also, Ash, how dare you? Okay. We're up quite a bit of CS on Yona, which is nice. I still can't believe uh, Belveth lived there, though. Just getting some more turret plates now. Oh, gonna try to live here. Should be okay. Bye, Yone. <laughs> Go back. You foul creature. Alright. I'm a little bit scared of Belveth coming, but I should be okay. I have my bot lane coming. Oh no. <gasps> Hopefully he said too though. Oh no. Dang it. Okay, let's finish our Ludens. I probably shouldn't have done that. I could have very easily not done that, but I did do it. <laughs> and now I pay the consequences of my own actions, which is this. Being dead in a wall. Uh, for my second item this game, I'm going to be going Lich Bane. I kind of want to go just a damage Seraphine build. Ooh. Okay, well, Belveth has been expunged from this planet. Yeah, I'll pick up Bot Wave here. Pick up my bot lane. The stage is kind of pretty. It's very like sparkly and you know, there's like diamonds on the front. It looks like purple diamonds. Ooh, okay. I'm on my way here. We can actually, if she keeps pushing, we can fight it. But I, they got vision of me somehow. Something's happening here. Hmm. Bye, Yone. Don't try me. Oh, MF. Oh, no. So close. Oh, no. I messed up. We get the turret here, which is nice. I'm not sure where Belveth is. But let's take her blue buff. Her blue is ours now. Okay. There's MF. I'm gonna go ahead and get this honey fruit here. Need some health.
maybe we can get someone. Putting some starfishes on my teammates. Ooh. Ooh, that MF damage though. Okay, let's go get this, and then this is definitely a pretty close game, I'd say. Uh, just not enough damage, barely. Hello, Belveth. Good try, Belveth. So I'm going to be going for this uh, Lich main now. Good try, Yone, too. Oh, wow, they actually killed Yone. That's nice. Hmm, we probably don't want to fight in the jungle. We probably want to fight in lane where I can just look and get a good ult. Or, like, in chokeholds. Oh, meanwhile, though, Kale's doing something here. Ooh, Kale is doing something here. Okay, Kale got MF. Nice. Your team has destroyed a turret. Shut down. Don't mistake me. Shut down. Okay. I love the sound design on both this and the non-prestige version. I think it is very nice. Oh, there's Velda. Maybe we can kill her, actually. Ooh, no. Ah, she's lived so low. Here's MF. Maybe she's dead. She probably doesn't have Flash, I don't think. That's what she gets. That felt satisfying to watch. Oh, I must heal my team. <laughs> Trying to get Velvet with these notes. Oh, never mind. Oh no, she lived again! This Velvet, how does she keep living? I'm gonna heal my team here. Let's see how the heal looks. Pretty standard, kind of what you'd expect. And Ash, that's what you get. We set you on fire. I'm just like appreciating these sounds. Okay, now I'm just appreciating a Kali and Ting. Oh my god. Go by SARS. Oh wait, Belvet's little things attack you too. These things are tanky. I for I just like my brain process them is just Malzahar voidlings. Ouch. Where I landed something. Die, you alien. Die, you witch. Guys. I don't even care. Oh, I should care, though. <gasps> I flopped. <laughs> I messed up. No, I'm embarrassed. Let's just recall. My embarrassing recall. All right. Okay, so we're gonna get this and this. And I mean, at least we got her flash too, right? <laughs> Copium. I would love the next blue buff. The next blue buff would be pretty nice for me. The pool party squads. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens here. Oh, misfortune. It would be a, it would be a shame if you didn't have your flash. Get it, Rosary. 
Yeah, Jeff, you know, this game, something I can say too is I'm definitely noticing the fact that those durability changes happen. I, like, really don't feel like I'm doing as much damage as I would before these durability changes, so... That's really interesting. This is probably like one of the first times I really felt like I've noticed the changes. Because that, that would make sense, guys, why Belveth keeps living and stuff, because this is with those changes, and I haven't really played with them much since they're not live yet. So my damage, like, calculations are a bit off. Alright, we have Jonas to get. We have Jonas to try to, to sing to. Never mind, he's he's out. Not worth the time. Shove this out. And we're really strong grouped up together. Ow. Ow, Ash. Die, Bel Belba. Drop the wall. <laughs> okay. Okay, Miss Fortune. Oh, maybe we can get Yone. Not quite. Ooh, she's low. Oh, she's dead. Ooh, Yone, please no. Yone, please just leave, 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 leave. <gasps> Hail, my hero, my li my hero. Okay, I live. This Yone is like really rude though. I love like the little confetti too. Like when I start my recall, there's just like a little spritz of confetti and it looks very festive. Okay, for my next item, I'm gonna be going, mm, I'm gonna go Rylize. We wanna be annoying too. The hair kind of, like, reminds me a bit of Zoe and, like, the color of it and how it blends into, like, a bit of a gradient. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the hair color, honestly. I feel like the blue at the bottom is a little dull. Um, but that's, I guess, like, a minor critique. I don't think it looks terrible. It's just I probably wouldn't have made it such a dull blue. It would have been cooler if it was maybe, like, lighter. Okay, now we can spam. Now we can spam with our Lich Mains. Oh, hello there, Belveth. Why, hello there, you tentacle creature. Oh, here's a collie. Yes, the dolphins, they're doing work. Do I get her here? I'm pelting her with like infinite notes. It's so nice having blue up on Seraphine. Okay. And it seems like this is the beginning of the end for them. This is fun now. This is always the most fun part of the game on Seraphine, when you, you can just spam abilities at them. Here, take some heals, team. Oh, please don't die at me. Uh, take this! Oh no. She got the final hit off on me. I cry. 
Okay, well, that probably is GG there. Um, yeah, so that is the Ocean Song Seraphine Prestige skin. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments, and I just want to remind you guys, if you do like this video, uh, to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate it. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love to to have that too. I'm really close to Challenger right now and I do some educational videos, I do some skin videos, I do a little bit of everything. We're a jack of all trades on this channel. So um, yeah, I think that the skin is really nice overall. I liked it. I actually might like the non-prestige version better. I think that the only part about this version that I like better than the non-prestige is the Q animation, but I like how the jellyfish looks a lot too. So. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit... Let me know what you guys think. What do you like better, the non-prestige or the prestige skin better? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.